just friends But we had something special since we shared our first kiss How could I forget it? Never felt love like this No, no You understand my day-to-day life can get all so crazy You say the word, I'm with it, babe I'll ride with you, no babies We got a chemistry that I spent a lifetime saving Can't nobody do it like you Let me tell you what it is, let me show you I'm the mister That you need to miss, and I heard you got a sister Can I bring a friend? We can try to top down, let your hair in the wind And another thing nobody can do Can't nobody in this world rap like so We verse that, and it's us, me and you, love is true And I bet you I can love you better than the mothers do And that's real, I'ma put my heart on the line Are you tired? You been running through my mind all the time uh, And you too fine to be just fine The woman of my dreams from my mind, now you mine oh, And now I'm literally standing by the word Kick the mother lame dudes to the curb Can't nobody do it like you, oh Jesus, who is he angry about? I God! Mean, <laughs> Bloody hell! Yeah, Storms, what's going on? Come on! That's right! That's, 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 that's right! Guys, there's more, more better, serious topics to address than hair. Hair is all over the YouTube. But today, 
Oh. We're gonna give it what you want. Get yeah, that class A drug right here, y'all. Hair. People have also asked us to talk about to do makeup tutorials, and guys, I just have to let you know, taking it a bit too far. With that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, mate, it's a bit, you know. You know, maybe one day you might get a get ready with me, but an um, actual makeup tutorial, do this, do that. It's a bit far fetched. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. So, in terms of makeup videos, some people you might not come across, but they are doing good makeup, and you might want to check them out. There's Adija, there's Deborah, yeah. there's Lim Beauty. There's Ruth, Ruth Ote, and there's um, Keisha Eke. And some other people who you might come across, there's Uche, and there's also Vivian. Um, and definitely check out Vivian if you have like um, skin skin problems. If you want any kind of additional hair video, I'm going to need 2,000 likes minimum on this video. <laughs> and well, 20 shares. 50 shares. 20 shares. If I don't see those things, you, hair will never be discussed. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna address the most frequently asked questions. So first question is, who does your hair? Who does your hair, guys? I do, I do my hair. hair. I do, I do, I do, I do hair. my hair. Everyone does their own hair here. Yeah, everybody do yeah. their own. Saves everybody. money, saves time. And we're all about that wig life if you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, do you make wigs? And we do make wigs for people. Um, we're gonna make a more, I would say, structured, structured way for so people amazing. to order their wigs by the end of the summer. Um, but for now, you can just send us an email and you can look in the description box there'll be a bit more extra information about the whole wig making yeah. situation. So first and foremost, we're just going to talk about buying hair from AliExpress. Okay, so um, when you buy hair from AliExpress, um, make sure you investigate into the vendor. So if you wanted Queen Weave Beauty straight hair, first of all, find the correct link because a lot of companies will have Queen Weave Beauty in the title like mm -hmm. Queen Weave Beauty straight hair but it's actually not Queen Weave Beauty. It might have like when you go to AliExpress it might have Queen Weave Beauty in the banner and then when you click on the hair and you see the actual store like it's either store name or store company it will say Exan um, my, from my AliExpress people you know what I'm talking about Exangol, Ganzo, 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 it's not Queen Weave Beauty. So when you get to the right web white, um, store make sure you read the reviews and see like are people actually giving accurate reviews are the reviews bad are they good and now there's people are quite um open with aliexpress they take pictures of themselves in their hair mm -hmm. so you can especially for curly hair so you're thinking they'll put one babe from instagram or from twitter with flowing curly hair and then when you receive the hair it's looking like one grandma curl for people in the comments they'll take pictures and you'll see what it's actually going to look like before you receive it and then as well you can go onto youtube, YouTube. type in the um, vendor and the type of hair and check people's actual reviews. Oh yeah, be um, Would be realistic it? with um, price point. Your your price point and what you expect from the hair. Cause I Black Friday, I tried to get myself a bargain. I'm talking about I was getting 20, 18, 16, and like maybe a 16 or 14 closure for about 18, 90 pounds. It didn't pass 100. And if you see that hair now is abysmal. <laughs> it's terrible. I got what was coming to me. Yeah, yeah man, you get what you pay so, for. You know. So if you're getting five hundred and fifty pounds, mate, uh, chances are the hair is synthetic. To be honest, so. <laughs> it was terrible, guys. So how do you lay your closures? Well, the key. I personally feel like, but you know, oh, it's yeah. It's all about the preparation. It's, you know what, laying the closure. It all starts from the construction. Okay, okay. It's, it was Esther Live. So shout out Esther Live. Watch the video and she like lays her closure a certain way so then when you sew it to the cap the closure is already taut on the cap so already once you put the closure it already lies flat so it's all about construction even like adding things to the cap like an elastic band yeah. to like for extra security to make sure it's tight really helps get that snug closure fit and also help stop your wig from flying off like just to have your wigs flat I would recommend that you either lay your hair like so let's say I have this part here right I would camera my hair away from the part right so this part will be flat here or I will just do a bun like slick it back and then put my wig on top if let's say you have a teeny weeny afro you can't have your teeny weeny afro just there and then put the closure on no. top and feel like the, the wig is going to compress the no you need to lay it down yeah. if it's gel you have to use your gel if it's cameras start camering even two wig cap wig caps if you have to so in terms of blending um you know the less closure with my actual hair what i use is is that to um blend the line of demarcation between the closure and my scalp so i use this and i apply it with just your regular um angled brush that we used to do to fill in your eyebrows and then another key to getting your closure to 
get your closure to look good is matching density of your closure with density of your hair. So a lot of times people, um, they don't know how to, they put concealer on, but concealer will obviously make your scalp and the closure look the same colour. But the issue now is that your closures are dense. Your, your, your baby hair is not dense. So what you now get to see is the closure is dark and then your scalp is empty. So you have to <laughs> 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 you get to fill fast. it in. You have to fill it in. And what you can fill it in with is your regular, um, your regular eyeliner. I have um, this liquid eyeliner from Collection. Also, this is an LA Colors um, Jumbo Pencil. So pretty much I will just apply the powder with the brush right in the landing location. I will then fill in my the areas with this and this. On top of that guys, there's no need to be leaving horrendous amounts of... <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma today is <laughs> Horrendous amounts of, of black. <laughs> yeah, you need the most minimal amount of hair because What's the point of the closure? Yeah. You know? Like, did you see Bambi one time? Bambi's closure was here. Like, where did what? Look, look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. What's the point? You dare not. You dare not. <laughs> I use um, banana powder or um, topaz or I have my Laura Mercier powder. And I like it because it's translucent and I don't feel like it's too heavy. It doesn't um, stick to the closure too much and like, um, leave a residue or make it like that mm. orange kind of colour as well. What was my favourite one, and it actually broke, which I'm horrified to this day about, um, is HD Brows. I've got this palette. Um, it comes in a little thing like this, like a little square, and the nude and the warm brown gave like a really nice flesh coloured tone. Mm. And I found that because it's quite light and quite not like a very pigmented powder, it kind of like blends in with your skin quite mm. um, naturally. So I guess the next question should just be, how do you secure your wigs? So there's a breathable cap that we recommend. Um, with our wigs, and I get the small in that. The I buy the medium cap of the cap she's talking about, and it fits perfectly. I don't have to do nothing to it. I just um, put the just put the straps, secure the straps, and I'm off. Um, other wigs, older wigs that I have, I would have to have like combs inside of the wig, mm. or I would have to have an elastic band. But really and truly, it's got to the stage where I don't do any of that stuff anymore. <laughs> just throw the wig on. How do I secure my wigs? Well. Um, I don't use the mesh caps anymore because the small's too small and the medium is too big so I never get like the fit that I need. So I use the dome cap um, and when you're buying a dome cap you have to really make sure that it can fit your head. That's very important. I recommend the one, I don't know what brand it is but it has the, the black lady on it obviously and this has like argon oil treated because um, the band it has a really good elastic band um, that always kind of fits securely to your head and gives like a good fit for a wig. I just want to say, if you do find a men's dome cap that fit, you make sure you write down every detail about that cap because different variations, they will fit differently. Yeah, well, what I do if I find a dome cap that fits, I just buy like three or four and then keep it if I normally make it a wig soon. And then I always add like an elastic band. Um, if you see my elastic band, it's like, it looks like a seatbelt. My elastic band is like <laughs> <laughs> two inches thick. How do you lay your frontal, B? Okay, well, um... You should add me on Snapchat. <clears throat> so what I use is I use like a, a gel, a really sticky, sticky gel, and I use that as a substitute for glue because I like to take my units off. So um, having them on continuously is a problem for me. So I don't want to glue my hairline down, number one. Number two, you know all those spooky stories you hear about glue, snatching people's edges, mm -hmm. and I love my edges. So this is Squash Squash Squash. Um, <laughs> just squash Squash Squash. <laughs> <laughs> Um, gel. It says glued on it, but it's not glue. I repeat, it's not glue. It is gel. Um, who used this as well? Peak Mill in her um, frontal video as well. And yeah, this is pretty good. When I use this, it, the frontal usually stays on for about three, I'll say two days because I'm just reco three days if I've been really careful with it. Most of the time when I do do my frontal, I will show everybody on my Snapchat how I do it. A lot of people have enjoyed that. Um, so for those of you who want to know, I'm going to show you how I quote unquote glue my lace frontal on. My frontal, the, the front bit usually sits about here and then it kind of just like seeps into the sides of my hair around there. So this is where I'm going to put the glue. So now I'm just going to put it onto my hairline where at this point it would usually start this my hair. So I won't do this <clears throat> on like a normal day. Um, I usually do it if I'm going to like a function <laughs> and I don't want to play with your house. <laughs> I'm glued up, yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your spray, this is kind of like a spray, and you're gonna spray it. As I say, if they're in one piece, guys, don't snatch out and do this, it's quite dangerous. You want this 
for the glue to get sticky, right? So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some more. Yes, ah! you. <laughs> hey, this is bad. Oh, okay, right. So yeah, now it's sticky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap people to Snapchat this because obviously I need my two hands to do this. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the front and you're gonna pull it. So you might want to start with the middle. Bam. Take it from from that side. Bam. Here, see. You're gonna take it from this side. Bam. Take it from that side. Bam. 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 Okay. Don't worry about it. Then you're gonna proceed to the bro dryer. That's it. Let's go. So the thing about using this is that when this dry sometimes you'll have like a white sticky kind of like consistency that is too jarring. I'll show you how to get rid of it. what I use with my makeup. And when I apply my contour, my foundation all around here, obviously it goes over hair because the hair stuck down. And then I'll take my wipe. When it dries and you get like that white sort of sticky looking thing, if you take water, but I am again too lazy to go downstairs to actually get water, so I use my leave-in conditioner and I just like kind of like spray and just just like scratch. <laughs> like a scratching motion. I use a mesh wrap um, because I saw one lady who I learned this technique from on YouTube use a mesh, uh, use a wrap. Um, so her one wasn't mesh, but mine is. Damn, Beverly! Again with that bomb frontal, damn. Gosh, son of man, we miss you. <laughs> so again, glued, ice cross off, and then you just want. Got to be. <laughs> <laughs> you it. Got to be glued. <laughs> and yeah, this is. I think it was only like three pounds something. So the next question is, how do you maintain your wig? Okay, so how do you maintain your wig? Um, I would. People might say it's dirty, but if you wash your hair too much, it's obviously going to get dry. So don't wash it that much. I would, I would, I would say unless it's like curly hair. We must, I must point out that we don't wear our wigs to sleep. We don't like we wear it out the house, and that's it. When you get inside the house, you remove the wig. So the wig is not really getting too much. I would say it's oil wear activity. Yeah. Like, like it's not really experiencing too much stuff. So you don't have to wash it that much. Yeah, and. A thing about not, when you don't wear it, to, wear it to sleep, it's not like rubbing against your pillow or rubbing against any surfaces, which makes like your hair rough. So don't wash it too frequently. But when you do wash your weave, really get in those tracks. And if you've got a wig, don't be afraid to get your cap wet. Mm -hmm. Really scrub the tracks of themselves because they hold <laughs> they hold a lot of oil. And then you'll realise that your hair's getting greasy all the time because the oil from your own natural hair that you've put on is like seeping through the cap. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you scrub it properly and then um, shampoo it, condition it. And then what I like to do is really blow dry the hair, so blow it out so my hair's big um, and I don't put any product in it. And I wouldn't rec recommend putting any product in the hair because it weighs it down, mm -hmm. makes it more greasy, mm -hmm. and then you have to wash it more frequently, which is why we don't need to wash our weeds because we don't really put right anything in it. it as such. And then after you've blown it out so it's big and fluffy, then you straighten it. And then your hair has like a lot of movement. It's not weighed down. Your weave is not stiff. So that's one of my key tips for maintaining a nice free flowing wave. So people are asking me how I got my my um, blonde hair, and I achieved my blonde hair by first and foremost bleaching it. I bleached it about I would say eleven times. No, 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 no. <coughs> it was I bleached it five, but that's because the bleach I was using before was expired. Let's just say I bleached it three times. But for that blonde hair, if you haven't realised, the bottom half is actually like a brown, and the top half is a blonde. So I didn't bleach bleach the bottom half any too too substantial amount but for the top half a i'm aiming for the blonde the most blonde i can get it i'm not stopping at ginger i'm going for the blonde when you bleach the hair you go for the end mark <laughs> go right through once i get to blonde i then use this hair dye okay guys i seriously recommend colors hair dye use it i tried to use i think it was nice and easy i tried to use i think to get that blonde i made sure i bought Ash blonde, as opposed to I didn't buy a honey honey blonde. Honey blonde would be more of a orange warm tone. I was going for more cool, cool tones. tones yeah. So this box is the very light ash blonde. In that hair, I have very light ash blonde and I have light ash blonde. The purple hair that you saw was actually the hair that I am um, damaged in the sea. So what I used, I used um, this semi permanent dye. I used uh, a door. I used rich eggplant, purple rage, and something violet. And how do I get the hair from red to the purple? So I had to remove all the colour, I put it in a, like a pot with really really hot hot water and I would keep doing that repeatedly throughout the day, shampoo it out, shampoo it out, leave it in, let it soak completely and I had to do that for about five days before I could get the majority of the red out so it was a bit like a pinky colour and then basically I just put the purple, that's when I started putting the purple dye on it 
and then I left the dye overnight and then washed it out. Obviously guys, we finally finished the exams. Woo! 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 Um, if you guys are still doing the exams, you know, keep it up, girls and boys. Keep it up, study hard. Study hard, read well, as your mum would say. But yeah, it's time for us NFL to get cracking with the videos again. We're back putting out videos at a minimum of every two weeks, and it's usually Thursday at 9 p.m. And if you guys have any interesting videos you'd like us to do, write a comment in this um, on this video. And also, if you see something that you think, oh, I don't know I should talk about this on Instagram, tag us. Yeah. No more hair videos. It's 2016. Yeah. Unless, unless somebody sends us some fabulous hair. Yeah. <laughs> this is like one of those one-off things because people keep asking us about our hair. So we're doing this video. We don't. We're, we're not trying to blur any lines. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed all of our, our various looks and things like that. Yes. And um, you know, maybe you can incorporate that into your 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 style book. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, delicious. Bye, y'all. Elephant baby.